are Hobo Simple Cooking, Sustainable Living out at sea and on land. So I love crushing stuff. I don't think I'm going to do too many peanuts. Mm. Almonds. Crush them. Make sure it doesn't fly out. Okay, it's crushed. I'm gonna put the mixed peanuts away. You can use any peanuts you want. This is just what we have on board. We don't eat too many peanuts. We love them, but they're expensive in Australia. So, I'll show you my peanuts. Peanuts. So my vermicelli, crushed peanuts, snow peas, um, cucumber, red cabbage, and paw. It's going to deep pan fry the fish. What? <laughs> He's obsessed with the voltage. So. Sure what? How you <laughs> fry the fish. Oh, shallow, shallow fried oil. Five millimeters of oil. Um, just throw the background in. The tail's going to crisp up with a little bit of crunch, like um, crackling. Speak louder! Like crackling the tail. It's edible. Beautiful. I have them for. Coral trout's just about done. That's been oh, three minutes each. Three minutes first side, two minutes second side. Turn the flame off before I lift the lid, just in case I've overcooked the temp. Still bubbling in its own oil, but look at that beautiful golden backbone. Yummy. You wait till you see how the white flesh pulls off of the fork. Do you hear the crackling? Yummy. Ooh, crispy. Really dangerous working with boiling oil. Okay, he closed the oil, so I need to go with blue. Okay, while Paul scores it in tiny pieces, I'll show you what I do. So, take the vermicelli, and use my fingers, of course. It's still a little bit warm, but that's okay. Like pasta. That's sort of a lot. But this is much lighter than pasta. Vietnamese. Well, all Asian countries eat this. Ooh, hot. Um, I might have to turn off. Okay, I'm going to turn off this. So, so Paul is putting the crunchy coral trout. You can use um, fillets of fish, but since we're eating the spine, because we hate wasting anything, um, so most people won't be doing this. Just whatever fish. Any vegetables. Uh, bean sprouts are really good. I um, sprout my own bean sprouts but I have it um, for the last few days so we don't have bean sprouts I also like to put fresh chilies we don't have any fresh chilies <laughs> so it's um, sustainable living with what you have on board too so it's a mix and it saves a lot of money and it's not just saving money it's just how can you fucking get any fresher than this it's so good and look at this nature's bounty it's so abundant when you're not greedy and you just hunt what you can eat look at the water <laughs>